Welcome, final five, to oh another individual challenge. I asked you guys to have a lot of materials tonight. Ping pong balls, solo cups, coffee mugs, a straw. Um, we're bringing back some of our favorite, what? <laughs> Wait, stop. You can tell us that. I, I didn't, didn't say anything about coffee mugs, mugs or ping pong balls. <laughs> or yeah. yeah. Did I not send that? No. No. Okay, we'll go get that stuff. How many ping pong balls? And how, ping pong ah, 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 how big of a coffee cup? So you need coffee cups that are the same size. Two? We're, yeah, you're going to have water in them. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Yes. So, so I'm going to water in them now? How, how big, how much water? Water, you're going to fill up the coffee cup. One of them. The whole thing? Yep. Awesome. Um... I'm realizing now that I remembered to tell the producers and then during my work day, I forgot to, yeah, that's great. Dad, I know, I forgot to tell them the materials. He's speaking of stomach aches. Isn't this fun? <laughs> what, oh my God. Wait, we so we need two it? coffee mugs? Yeah. And then do we need water in them? Water in one mug. Do we have a backup water cup? No, and then you'll need three solo cups. You'll need a straw and a ping pong ball. Oh my God. How many cups of water? Just fill one of those. Got my items. Okay, great. Sorry about that. It's okay. Aye, sir. Very filled water. It's great. Is that Joanna on your shirt? <laughs> oh, it's oh, cute. Yeah. It's cute. It is the bitmoji. Oh, oh I love you. Okay. Oh, my How full <laughs> should the water be in the one coffee mug? Like almost to the top. Okay. This is going to spell. Oh. So yes, I didn't tell you you needed this tonight, but I have checked to make sure you have these items in general. So to the fans coming for me, I knew they had these things. I just forgot to tell them to bring the things. How many solo cups do we need? Three. And a straw? One straw? One straw. I'm going to talk through what the whole challenge is, and then we can always grab other things and yada yada. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Nervous laughter. Okay. So what this is going to be is a three part relay, essentially. Um, so the first thing is you guys will be stand oh wait, hold on. I have I have a lovely person who's gonna show all these things. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, will you turn on your video, please? Hi, Sarah. She won the fan auction to come and talk about a challenge. So she is going to demo. Is that Timothy Chalamet in the background? Oh, oh that's Scott. Oh, Scott. 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 Scott said he was Timothy Chalamet. So he's it with us in front of us. Okay, so the first part is going to be balancing the ping pong ball on your phone on your phone for five minutes. Every time it falls off, you get an added 30 seconds before you can start the second leg. We will allow both hands. I will want you guys to be standing, but yes, that's the first one. Then the second one is gonna be with those gorgeous coffee mugs. Your ping pong ball, and will you just tell, thank you. Your ping pong ball will start in the empty one. Wait, the, the chat's covering that. Let me just, yep. <sighs> so she has to get all the water from one cup into the other cup. And once all the water is there, she has to blow the ping pong ball back into the empty coffee mug. And Sarah, if you just want to pour all the, oh, it, you're moving quite fast, actually. Maybe I'll let her finish the whole thing. Well, I'm going to get a different straw. you so nutsy. Okay, yeah, and then she's got to blow to get the ping pong cup from one mug into the other. So you'll have to do that twice. You'll have to do that twice. Um, and then pretend she did it. 
Okay. Yay! And then she'd have to do it another Stop. time. And then the third leg is going to actually listen, guys. It's so important. It's so hot in California right now. Jody, isn't it hot in LA? Very much so. <laughs> hot here too. Yes. Okay. It's very important to hydrate. So you are going to fill three solo cups with water. Chug one, flip cup it. Chug the second, flip cup it. Chug the third, flip cup it. And then you will be done. Do we want water in there now, or is that part of the challenge? I would like for you to get water in that now. Also, wait, before you go, before you go, I actually, one of the producers brought up a great point. You should have an extra cup of water on standby because when you're doing the like moving water part, if we're losing a little water in transition, we will be okay with you putting more water in the cup. How much okay. water, well, sorry, I think so. How much water would you like in here? Um, let's yeah. go to that, let's go to the bottom um, of the, you know how there's like two ridges from the white at the top? Yep, go to that second ridge where Jody has his finger, where Tommy has his finger, where Erica has her finger, where Katie has her finger. <laughs> oh, so much water. I have, I have another question. Oh, and yeah, if, if, right. if we need to use extra water, I'm assuming we're, transferring it from our straws for, with the extra cup, right? Like yeah. that's how we put the water in? Okay. okay, so basically the extra water is gonna come into play. Like if you move the one ping pong ball over and in blowing it, some of the water fell out. We'll let you pour a little bit more in to make it back up to where it is. Great, copy, yes. thank you. Also for your phones, take off your phone cases. You can't be, if you have a pop socket, you can't use that. That's not fair. Like oh I have to take this off? <laughs> I think Marissa does, oh, I don't know if Marissa can talk because she's at work. Um, Carter or Becca, does she have to take off the phone case? Our concern, yeah, we were saying no phone cases because the it could kind of tip the ball in, so we don't want okay. it to hit up against anything. Got it. So, okay. The vol this volume of water is... Yeah, Becca and Maddie a are lot. concerned about the amount of water I'm making you drink. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I am, I am, I'm concerned <laughs> about vomiting we're, on the Zoom. I just don't want to spill my computer. Okay, so Maddie or Becca, if you had to recommend a different amount of water, how much would you recommend in the cups? I would recommend four ounces per cup. Okay, four ounces per cup. How much is that? Um, okay. <laughs> for the solo cup? Yeah, for the solo cup. Hey. I don't know what four ounces. Or I guess we could Wait. say like half a cup. Is that easier if people use a measure? Yeah. To make sure that it's the same. So how about half a cup of water in every cup? If you measure on a solo cup, on the bottom, there's like the very thin line. And then the second line is actually four ounces. I'm guessing. I think those lines are measurement lines. Oops. So like this are we doing one? <clears throat> that, would be, that would be, yes. That's what I would, yeah. I mean, if you ask my professional advice. Great. I'm doing four ounces legitimately. Okay. Yeah, Therefore, that's what I was just about to say. I'm like, mm. I love <laughs> chemistry. doing it legit. <sighs> Cup is full. <laughs> okay, so as you're getting it set up, are there questions? So can somebody show me the whole balancing a ping pong ball on the phone? And we're supposed to do that for a long time? Five minutes. Sarah, if you're still there, would you be willing to show again? I would so appreciate it. Thank and, you. And then what happens if it falls? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Sarah's going to show. Yeah, it's very hard without the case. <laughs> You have to hold the phone. You're standing and you're holding the phone for five minutes, five minutes. And every time your ping pong ball falls off, you have to wait an extra 30 seconds before you can start the second leg. Wow. Oh, wait, it's five minutes in a row or five minutes consecutively or well, whatever. Yeah, that's another great question. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Um, Five minutes are going to go by, and every single time that the ball drops, they're yep. going to put the ball right back on, but the judges are going to be keeping track of how many times the ball fell in that five minutes, and for each fall, we're going to add 30 seconds before the second round. Yeah, what Becca said. 
So we all start the second round at the same time. No, because if your oh. ball fell off three times, you'd have to wait 90 seconds where if, if Jody's didn't fall off, he could, go, he could go right into the second round. And it's three flip cups? Three flip cups. This is a, this is a and one at a time. Yes, Jody. Um, two quick clarifying questions for the uh, water, water, blow, blow. Can I move the cups like around when we're done? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, all the water's in here now. Can I like rotate them so I can blow it properly? Sure. Okay. Um, and then, oh, oh, e, ooh. oh, and so t rounds two and three are consecutive? Yeah, like, once you start, yep. I'm gonna turn my fan off. Okay, okay cool, that's all. Yes, thank you. Um, Jody did name the challenge. It's now called Water, Water, Blow, Blow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Low key yes. named the Buns of Teals, too. Okay. So let's have everyone show me their phones up close so I can see there's no case on it. Okay, Jody, you're good. Tommy is good. Katie is good. Joanna is good. Erica is good. Okay, I'm going to have you guys stand up and back away from your camera so that we can see you. Um, and we have judges assigned to each of you, so they will keep track every time it falls off. And then I will calculate the amount that everyone has to go before we start the second chapter. I'll make sure it's very clear for all of us. Um, Becca, any last thoughts? Anything I missed, which I'm sure I missed something. I'm already dropping. But I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll just be letting people know how much, we'll, we'll be telling them like go when it's time for that second round. Yes, basically. I'm gonna recalibrate after we finish the five minutes mm -hmm. and then we will go from there. So it's pingy pongy phone phone, water, water, blow, blow, <laughs> and then drinky, drinky, flip flop. Flippy, flippy, yes. Okay. Um, let's see, okay, we're gonna get this started. The five minutes is gonna start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, this is. Katie has dropped once. <laughs> 30 seconds in, Erica has dropped once. Okay. Katie has dropped a second time. That's Katie's third time. Third time. It is. Yeah, it is and Erica time. has already dropped twice, but she's doing great. Yeah. This is what I was anticipating during the dice, everyone. <laughs> One minute in. This is just, it's not gonna go well for me. <laughs> don't understand how anyone is doing this. We are one and a half minutes in. Like what even? <sighs> Maybe my screen protector is just too slidey. I'll try the other side. Oh, well. Two minutes in. We are almost two and a half minutes in, halfway through. Three minutes. 
minutes in, two minutes left. All right, Katie, you have dropped a reset 10 times. We're gonna cap it there. Cool, thank you, great. <laughs> thank you for playing along. We are three and a half minutes in. 90 seconds left. Jody has dropped. Four minutes in. They look like Gen Zers on a train, you know what I'm saying? No one looks up anymore. People never talk to each other anymore these days. Thanks, Diane. We're 420 in. Just wanted to let everyone know 420 in. <laughs> Four and a half minutes in. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you may drop. I'm going to get from your judges the total amounts. Can't wait to hydrate. Wetting everything up. Shaky? Yeah. The show. How, do, how do the kids do that thing with their fingers? When they make like the snappy noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Joanna, you know it. Okay, so I'm going to ask that you guys all get your setup so that we can see. Um, get your laptop set up so we'll be able to see the water. Um, and so Tommy and Joanna both did not drop at all so they get to start immediately once i say go not yet um jody will start 30 seconds in erica will start one minute in and katie will start five minutes in <clears throat> and what okay can you see um judges please let your person know if if they're good angle wise um my tommy's good but i'm worried about the mugs because they're different heights mine are Oh, okay. Never mind. They're the same height. And I just wanted everyone to make sure they knew that. Yep. You're great. Mm -hmm. Um, um, sorry, Erica, can you adjust your camera so I can like, um, down a little bit so I can see your mugs? Perfect. So, okay. I'm starting hey, with did this. You get... Starting with oh. this empty, in the empty cup, correct? Yes. Yeah, so the ping pong ball should be in the empty cup. So Erica, put your ping pong ball in the empty cup. You know what? And I'm sucking this water out and putting it in here. Like yep, and then once you've filled all the water, you're blowing to get the ping pong ball into the empty mug, and then you will do that one more time. Awesome. Then you will be cleared to do your three flip cups. Okay. Any questions before? <clears throat> Wait, so what's the order of operations again? So you're gonna put that straw in that water mug. You're gonna put all the water where the ping pong ball is. Once that's filled, you're gonna blow the ping pong ball over and then you will do that again. Okay. Okay, great. Um, Tommy and Joanne, are you guys ready? You will begin first. Yes. Okay, great. I'm gonna count you down in five, 
four, three, two, one, begin. <laughs> God, oh, what's soothing noises. sounds? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> this is gross. Ten seconds till you begin, Jody. Four, three, two, one. You may begin, Jody. I think I need more water. Do not have. Okay, yeah. Pour a little more in that mug. Fifteen seconds until you can begin, Erica. Five. Four, three, two, one. Erica, you may begin. I got it. Can I move my cup? Yep, you can move your yeah. cup. Yeah. Hey, Joanna, make sure you're blowing it and not like flipping it. Oh. <laughs> I'm like wetting everything up. Can I pour more water in it if it's too low? Yes. All right, Tommy, good. Okay, Tommy has begun final leg. Damn it. I finished. Okay, Jody has begun his final leg. Oh, Why? Jody has finished or flipped over his first cup. Tommy has flipped over his first cup. Jody has gone his second cup. Tommy has gone his second cup. It's down to the third cup. Joanna, that's what I mean by flipping it. You got to blow. <sighs> Tommy oh has one. Tommy has one. Tommy has one individual immunity. Katie, we didn't even get to see you blow any water. Can we stop? Can we stop? You can stop. Good job, and Tommy. Look, it has such a big straw, too. Um, so I'm going to let you guys clean up your little areas, and then we're going to start banishment. Awesome. I'm going to need an hour. I mean... Okay. It wasn't my plan the whole time, but like it should have been, I guess, because this was not. I just dropped some stuff and then hung out. Also, this is Cameron's desk, so. <laughs> this cup is so disgusting. Wow, that's so messy. Gross. Okay. Okay. Joanna, those are cute. Are those pajama pants? Yeah. I love those. Very cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Almost. <clears throat> Almost doesn't count. Uh, congratulations, Tommy. You have won individual immunity. Um, do you feel that you needed it after your comment at Bannerman last night that you would like to win the entire game? Yeah, I got a little scared that I did let out my competitive side. So, I mean, that's every reason to not take me further in the game. Um, so I'm thankful that I have immunity tonight. Okay. Um, Katie, you saw your name written down twice. Yes? Yeah, sorry. There's just comments um, saying jury and mute chat in the chat. Oh, yeah, jury, <laughs> jury, come on in. I always forget. It's part... Oh. <gasps> Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm sensing a theme. This vibe. <laughs> Gorgeous jury, if I ever saw one. Um, and I did mute the chat. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Katie, if you had to rate how I've done today, I would say barely a C minus. What would you say? Oh, I would say a ten out of ten. I've, this okay. has been great. I did forget to it's chaos. It's all of your items, so there was that part, but. 
No, it fits with our chaos vibe and I liked it very okay. much. Um, so back to you, you had yes. your name written down twice last night. Were you surprised to see that or was that part of the plan? Uh, I was, yeah, I was not surprised to see it. I did know that it was happening. Were um, you surprised only two? Um, I mean, I wasn't, no, I thought it could be between two to four. <laughs> Okay. And were you yeah. comfortable with that going into banishment last night? Yes. Okay. So you were willing yeah. to get those four, your four votes against you. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't, my name hadn't been written down before that. So, you know, gonna experience the full, the full game. Mm -hmm. So Erica, your name was not written down at all. Were you surprised? Did you expect at least like one vote just to be thrown your way? I was, well, I'm always expecting my name to be thrown out there, but, you know, kind of saw it in the superlatives where people don't really put my name down for things. So, um, you know, it was both a surprise, but also not a surprise. So, Joanna, your name also wasn't written down last night, and you came to banishment saying you were, you were open, you were going to decide based on the information that you heard during banishment. Was there anything specific that you heard that helped you to decide where you wanted to throw your votes? Uh, yeah, I realized who the center was. Oh, interesting. Who the center was. And do you think everyone else who's still in the game knows who the center is? Yes. And do you think they're willing to keep the center? Yes. Or Okay. I think they're willing to have an extremely boring game and keep the center and keep everybody comfortable and leave it up to the jury to vote each other out. And that's what I think. Jody, I see you nodding your head a little bit. Do you also agree with Joanna's assessment? I mean, it's, it's, it makes sense. I mean, we can just look at the previous banishments and see how all the votes have gone and there hasn't been any real stray since that first merge vote and you know yeah I'm yeah I completely understand what she's saying is it how does it feel hearing her say that it's sad honestly because it's her or I tonight and I'm a little bit more confident it's her over why me. is it why is it Joanna are you um, I don't think that Erica, Tommy, and um, Katie have ever not voted differently this entire game. And I don't think tonight's going to be any different. And it's like, not, a, not me calling them out or anything. Like, it's a game that they've been playing and they've been playing it well. So no hate, but it's just like, why go against the mold this late in the game if it could screw you in the end? I don't know, but so maybe if they want to make some moves. I have to push back because you're saying like you can't break the mold now. And you're saying that as you and Joanna in the minority two verse three. Mm -hmm. Last night at Banishment, there were seven people. There was a mold that could have been broken. Why are you saying now the mold can, can't be broken? It, has it felt that way to you the whole time or just now? No, I think there's, you know, there's voting blocks and there's targets and sometimes <laughs> even when your competitors want the same people out. And last night I wanted both Joey and Scott out and that's what happened. So that's what, you, that's what they wanted too. And did you want them out because you felt you couldn't win against them in the end? I think compared to who's left and myself that Joey and Scott would have bro both brought great like arguments to the end. And I want to get to the end, too. And if I get there with two other flamingos, then, hey, that might look better than just three flamingos. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm, I'm playing how I need to play. And sometimes, yeah, it's boring. But sorry that we, I can't be the most entertaining dude on the block. I... Uh, listen, I'm not throwing out... I'm not throwing out the word boring. I just... I have trouble with your logic. I have trouble with your logic and I have trouble with it when you say also you love to be at the end with two flamingos. How, how have you set yourself up to even make that happen? Well, I, I, I don't know because granted, I wish I could have won tonight and done something to save Joanna because come tomorrow, if we have that final challenge, if I don't win individual immunity, 
I know that I will be going to that head on head, whatever that challenge may be, just because I've been with these other three the least amount of time. Although we do have that Royals 2.0 connection, am I certain that that's gonna be enough to get me there? No. Have I thought about this a lot? Yes. Is it gonna, I'm just gonna keep fighting. Like that's been my plan this whole time. And then if I get to the end, I have things I'm gonna say and show my game to the jury and that's all I can do. Okay. I disagree with some of the statements, but I will move on to next person. Maybe we'll circle back. Um, Joanna, okay. do you feel that it's you or Jody tonight? I feel like it's me tonight because, um, because Jody has actually worked with everyone very well. And so have I, um, I, but I still think that they would choose to keep him before me. Although I don't know, um, if I, I don't think they should keep either one of their alliance. I don't think that's going to do them any favors in the jury. So, I mean, okay. Erica, how do you feel hearing both the comments that Jody and Joanna have said? Do you disagree, agree? I agree in some regards. Um, and I disagree in others um, in the sort of claims that a specific group of people will make a, for a boring final three because I think there is a lot that has not been said and a lot that's being kept in the pocket um, in anticipation of that. And I think it's not fair to judge each of these people in this final five individually as if it's the final three without all of that information out on the table. Sure. So can I, pick, I, can I say something? Please go ahead. Thanks. So you're not planning on voting me off tonight? That's not what you guys have been talking about all day? We, ha uh, we have not been talking about anything all day. Tommy, you sure have not. Honest to God, I have not been. Stop it. Do not put God into I'm this. I'm not lying. I, I know it's I, a lie. I am not lying. I am not. On, I have not been on Slack today. Aside it's okay. From, it's okay to lie. And I'm it's not really lying is. about that. No, no, no. Can I just say something really quickly? Absolutely. It's a game and it's about deception and I get it. And it's okay to lie, but please don't bring God into it because it's, it's like... You can lie all day and, and that's fine. But when you start saying like, honest to God, it's like, oh my God, okay. Are the light, like, is there lightning around? <laughs> is it gonna strike? <laughs> because I know that's not true. I, you can believe what you wish. And I apologize for bringing God into it. But today was a very quiet day and I am not lying about that. Okay. You don't have to apologize to me. You can apologize to God. So I, what I, what I want to, to go back to Erica. And again, I'm going to say, I personally don't feel, I'm not putting the words out there as boring. Um, I have seen that in Survivor game. I've seen that in this, this game and seasons where people say that, honestly, I think we would all dream to play this game and have great alliances and make it to the end. So it's, it's people from the outside looking in. It's very different when you're playing the game inside. I guess the thing I'm wondering is, so are you saying that you feel comfortable turning on your allies in the final three, but you don't feel comfortable doing it before then? This because you said there's a lot we don't know and that you're going to have, you're going to be able to differentiate and speak to your game and all that. So you're saying at that point, you're willing to turn on your allies and say, oh, I did this. They didn't do that. You're willing to take it to the end and do that. You just don't want to do it before. Yeah, because I want to present my case to a court with the jury um, in a way that I would like to present it. There is, you know, a lot of timing sensitivities in this game that you have to be aware of and um, always conscious of. And, you know, a good narrative is all about rhythm and beats and cadence. I don't quite know what you're saying. I'm just saying I would like to personally control my own narrative. Okay, and so you're saying part of your narrative will be that you did not turn on your close allies. 
and you can stand stand by that at the end at the final banishment sure let's go with that okay great katie do you also feel comfortable with your waiting to turn on allies until the final banishment um yes although i don't even know that it would need to be turning on each other for us each to present a case of why we think we should win i don't think that there would need to be that negative connotation even at the end sure, i think that we can all very, stand separately sure but without it being be challenging jury questions where they're going to say hey katie tell me what you did differently from so and so sure absolutely and i think that differences don't have to be negative <laughs> Sure, but it is maybe pointing out flaws in someone else's game who was your ally. Could we agree to that? Sure, yes. Okay. It might not have malicious intent, but there is right. still negativity around it because you're not just going to be like, this person was great and they did everything and not poke holes in their game. Like that to me, is that what you're planning to do? That doesn't seem realistic. No, it does not. Um... Uh... I haven't, I, yeah, I feel like I could, I mean, obviously I think you can also point out like, I'm just, I mean, I'm just coming back to it. I don't think that it has to be, I'm like willing to differentiate myself. I don't think that I would go, I think different, but I don't know. I don't think I would have to get like, do you I like the turning on my allies feels okay. <laughs> like something that I don't want to do. You don't have to say that. And there, it, absolutely, there is, you know, you could get to final banishment and not do that. I guess then my follow-up question would be if, if that may not be in the plans to do that, to poke holes, to say anything about your allies' game, do you think you can still win by not doing that? I think it's possible. Okay. Tommy, do you feel that you will have to poke holes in whoever is sitting next to you in order to win the game and get the most votes? No, I think I've done enough that I can make a case without having to do so. You do, okay. So it sounds like, okay. Really confusing here, guys, how you feel um, your cases are being built without differentiating, but I mean, I don't have to necessarily poke holes in other people's plan, like game to differentiate my game from them. Have you guys figured out who's going to take credit for which moves? I, yeah, no, we haven't like talked about it, but I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, well, we were, you know. If you're making the same moves together and you're not willing to poke holes in each other's game, I I How are you differentiating credit-wise? Well, I think there's more to this game than like a move. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm not here to make, I wasn't here to make a flashy show. I wasn't here to like, wow, the audience. I came here because I, I was voted most competitive and I want to make it as far as I can and prove my case if I make it to the end. And I think I've done an incredible job so far. And if I can make it past the next challenge, everyone will hear about it but I don't think I have to necessarily play a game where I have to like wave some glow sticks around to have people see what I've been doing. Sure. Also, like, let me say to all five of you, like it only in any previous contestant will back this up. I only get more challenging as we move on. So I am going to be asking the harder questions. And if you think that the jury isn't going to ask questions like I'm asking, you're out of your mind. Um, in fact, I'm doing you a favor by preparing you to a certain extent. Um, I, I, I love these questions too. It's just, I think you're getting answers that you don't want. <laughs> no, I would say I'm getting maybe some non-answers, which is absolutely a choice that you are entitled to make. But as I've said to some of you, like, if I hear something that doesn't make sense to me, I am going to push back because we're trying to get all the information here, right? We're trying to get all the information out before votes so that everyone can make the most informed decision that they can. Yeah. So, Joanna, you still feel like it's going to be you tonight? 
Uh, 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 I mean, I had a great time either way. I mean, I was listening, I've been listening to Nicholas from the very beginning. So I already knew this was a possibility. I don't think Tommy is like number one competitor in this game. He is not the center of this game. And I think he knows that. And I think the other person that is the center of the game knows who they are as well. And unfortunately, the only person that knew that was yesterday and they were voted off. And unfortunately, we can't make that move anymore. So, you know, if I'm still here, great. I know that everyone here knows that I can hold a secret very well since I've held one for every single contestant on this game. Um, and so we shall see how it all goes down. Tommy, are you surprised to hear her say that she doesn't consider you the center of this game? No, because that's the game I've been playing this whole time. Do you consider yourself the center of this game, whether anyone knows it or not? Um, yes. You do? Okay. Erica, Katie, do either of you feel that you're the center of the game? I barely feel I'm the center of my own life, so. No. <laughs> um, okay, wait. I mean, considering wait, the fact. Wait, wait, wait. I want to follow up with Katie. If you don't feel you're the center of this game. Yeah. So do you feel that then your argument will be, I was not the center, but I was making excellent, excellent fringe moves in order to win? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like I was playing a very different game. I wasn't really focused on moves. I was focused on relationships, and I've been saying that loudly the whole time. And I, sure. I have yeah. to ask. I have to ask. And yeah. like, go for did it. Did you watch season two? I forget. Yes. Okay. Based on yeah, my I know I'm like Lindsay. <laughs> no, that's not who I was oh. going to compare you to at all. I'm just <laughs> checking that you aren't if you make it through to tomorrow, that I'm not going to have another Cody situation on my hands where you're like, I want this person to go forth in the final three and I'm not willing to do it. Because no, if I, I would do that fight in you, then we're going to have an issue. No, I would never do that to you. Okay. I saw that and I wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay. Erica, um, do you consider yourself to be the center of this game? I think I'd like to consider myself as a moon, not necessarily at the center, but still providing important tactics that do have major consequences. And it's a, the moon is not a planet, so. No, but, and the moon has gravitational pull, and do you feel you've had pull in this game? Do you feel that you've had pull over Katie and Tommy? I do. Okay. So, <clears throat> Tommy and Katie, you're still willing to go to the end and go sit next to Erica and feel that you have a different game? Sure, yeah, I wanna see what happens. Okay. I think they're gonna share the money. I do. I think they don't care who wins. I think they're just gonna share the money. And, um, and that's awesome, you know, that's friendship. Joanna, if you become the next jury member tonight, do you feel like you have an idea of who you would vote for? Are you saying if the, because we're asking a lot of questions to Erica, Tommy, and Katie, we're assuming that Jody is already voted off no, right say now? Jody, say, say it's a final four, which it's not, but say it's a final four. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, based on what I know, I mean, I personally feel like Erica, when it comes to deception, shines brighter than any one, any one of the 18 people that's here. I mean, she really thought by naming my star Harrison Parker was getting me the reason why I voted with her. But actually, it's why I was going to vote against her. <laughs> I can chime in and say that wasn't, I don't think that was a strategic move and because we won that star together. And although I know this game, it seems like every which conversation you have can become something like that. Like I am defending Erica here. And I said like, we are both people like who are 
late 20s, early 30s, or no, late 20s, sorry, Eric's not 30. Um, we like, we don't, I don't care about a star and I know it would have more meaning to you and your family. And I, no, yeah. I absolutely do. They are gonna love it, but what I'll say is it's in the same conversation of the star that a chat was created and conversation about game immediately started after you guys felt like you buttered me up. But really I was just trying to further my own game. And right. I and just started the conversation. No, I, I didn't start the chat. Erica did. Actually. I started a conversation so we could get the name, but then we did have another banishment the next night. And how else are you supposed to start a new conversation with the same two set of people? So, hey, guys, like so the question that you guys, I think you guys are all playing an awesome game. I really do. Um, but the question that Kelsey had for me was if I sat on the jury, who would I choose? And my answer is based on a lot of different things, not just Harrison Parker, because I think it's awesome that the three of us have a star, regardless if it was a way for you guys to feel like I was getting closer to you. I still think it's awesome. The three of us have a star. Um, I still think that, that Erica would be, in my opinion, a winner. If, if it's a deception game, if it's about backstabbing, burpees, and befriending. Okay. Um, I think I've asked a lot of questions. Um, it is going to be time to vote. Um, when I say- LC. Yep. Yeah, so this is the last night I could play something and uh, it's, it, I'm sorry, Joanna. I hope you can try and pull something. Hopefully your conversations today can save you, but I need to save myself in order to get another day. So I'm gonna be using my safety without power tonight and I will see three of you on Zoom tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Jody, that is a safety without power. Please turn your video off. Um, okay, so it is time to vote. Katie, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Erica, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Tommy, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Joanna, please slack me who you'd like to vote for. Oh yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Okay, now before I read the votes, does anyone have an idol that they would like to play? Tonight is the last time that you can play an idol. Okay, please bring out your phones, turn your phone lights on. Okay, first vote is Katie, that's one for Katie. Second vote is for Joanna, that's one for Joanna, one for Katie. Next vote is for Joanna, that's two for Joanna, one for Katie. The next person voted off the quarantine island, sixth member of our jury is Joanna. Joanna, I'm sorry, but your quarantine is up. You have been banished. Is there anything you'd like to say? Don't come in here, husband, get out of here. I'm so- No, I, I, I asked. 
asked him. I put him on mute. I put you on mute. So and I asked him to come here before the votes were read okay. because I okay, already I knew. Forgive. I forget. That I was getting voted off. Okay. Um, I just I actually wrote this two and a half weeks ago, right? And so I'm not going to read it uh, verbatim because there's some things that just don't hold true anymore. But uh, I do want to thank this guy for being so supportive. I mean, this game can be completely consuming, right? I mean, it can like take your whole life for like three, three weeks. So thank you. Um, I wasn't sad until like right now. I had fun, guys. I had so much fun and like, I wanna pay homage to Good Morning America because had I not walked in the tail end of that, I would have never met you guys. And Erica, I did not vote for you tonight because I really do think you should win this game because you are awesome. And I'm, I'm really glad that we have a star, Jody and Erica, I really am. And I'm sorry if that offended you, if I think that's, you know, what I, why you did that, um, it doesn't really matter. And anyway, um, I want to remind everyone to try and stay open and present when they're communicating with people, right? Um, maybe we should listen more than we speak. That was my game. And social game only works if you know when to shut up and you know when to speak. Listening is so important and um, stand up for racial injustice, right? Because even if it makes you uncomfortable, in your discomfort comes change. And I feel like I won because I was able to talk about God and I was able to talk about Black Lives Matter. And to me, that's the most important thing because that's what this is all about. This has been the most amazing social, emotional experience for me. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. These are happy tears. And it's because I'm, I'm actually thankful it's over a little bit because it's just way too much anxiety in this game. And sometimes, you know, that doesn't work very well. Um, life is crazy, right? It's a roller coaster ride. There's high highs and there's really low lows. So if you know someone who is suffering, and this is written three weeks ago before Elisa left, if you know someone who's suffering from depression or anxiety or is thinking about suicide, please reach out to them. You know, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. You can find out some information on weareequallyyoke.org backslash lifeline. We do partner up with them. Um, I'm always here. Reach out to me. I will support you in whatever you need. And I love you all. And thank you for this time. Kelsey, you've been awesome. Becca, shout out to Becca, my producer. My producer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maddie, for staying up late at night with me, trying to figure out this other idol, which I could never figure out. And um, I, just, I just love you all. Thank you so much for this experience. That's all I have to say. Joanna, thank you so much for being here. Um, it has been such a ride. I have never had someone push back so much and I yeah. adored every minute of it. It was so fun having you play and always seeing like, is Joanna gonna answer my question tonight or is she not gonna answer my question tonight? Um, and I just feel like you brought a whole other dimension to the game and I'm so grateful for you playing with such an open heart and bringing amazing lessons to our community and everyone here. Um, and yeah, I just have adored having you here. So thank you so much. Um, that's it for tonight, guys. QI reply is on after this. It is with Emily Carbferg and Marissa, the producer. Otherwise, uh, last challenge in banishment will be tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Uh, we are taking votes for fan favorite. Uh, so check out the Instagram for that. All that money gets donated as well, or most of the money gets donated as well. We give a little cash prize to the fan favorite. Um, that's it. I can't, I, sorry, I, guys, we're almost done. We're almost done. Um, love to you all. Hugs to you all. Have a good night. Bye.